Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tune Project. Today we're gonna to be learning the tune Pig Ankle Rag, and I hope you enjoy it. As always, before jumping in, if you end up enjoying the tutorial, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. It really helps my channel out, as well as hitting the subscribe button I post two times a week here on the Tune Project. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be updated each time I post a new video. So for this tune, we're gonna be on the E string to begin with, starting on our third finger A. And the first phrase goes like this. All right, so we're just repeating the same few notes two times, and then we come down to the A string starting on an open A. So again, we've got some repetition there. That time it was between our B, A, and D, third finger, and then we came down to the D string. Next, we come back to what we played in the very beginning for the opening phrase, starting on the E string with our third finger A. All right, and then we're gonna start on an open A for this next section. All right, so again, it sounds like quite a few notes, but they're all really just the same few notes that are being repeated over and over again. So the more that you play this, the more you'll start to recognize a pattern. And if you listen to the opening clip where I played it a little bit faster in the beginning, you can sort of see how the rhythm comes about. Next, as we're getting into the ending of the A section, we're gonna come down to a B. And we use our fourth finger to reach that B on the E string. And now we come back down to the A string for the last phrase. Okay, so some crossing back and forth between the A string and E string, finally ending on our third finger D. So now what I'm gonna do so that you can hear everything together is I'm gonna start from the very beginning of that A section and play the whole thing through so that you can play along with me or just listen for anything that you didn't catch the first time. So here we go. One, two, three. So that was the whole A section. We would play that twice. The form of this tune is A, A, B, B, like many of the other fiddle tunes that we talk about here and that we learn here on the Tune Project. So getting into this B section now, we're gonna be on the A string, starting with our third finger D. So again, you'll notice that repetition that we have going on, which is very standard and typical for a ragtime tune. So we've got that repetition going on between our first three notes on the A string, and then we descend down to the D string. Next, we come up to our third finger D on the A string with a similar pattern to that first phrase. <laughs> Right, and then for the next phrase, we play what we did in the very beginning of the B section again. And then next we go ahead and play what we did for the second section. So although the notes were the same with that last phrase to the second phrase that we had, we end on an A instead of an F sharp before getting into these last couple of phrases of the B section. So for this next phrase, we start on a first finger B, and you'll probably recognize this from the A section. It goes like this. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, again, we had that reach for our fourth finger B on the E string, and then we come down to an open A. All right, so hopefully you recognize that as the ending of the A section. It's exactly the same for both the A section and the B section. Now what we would do is we would go back and play all of that B section again. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna play it together from the very beginning of the B section, starting with our third finger on the A string. One, two, three. <laughs> So that is the full melody for Pig Ankle Rag. I hope you enjoyed learning that one. Congratulations for making it to the end and learning the whole tune. Now, if you wanted to make the melody a little bit more interesting, you're comfortable with the notes, you're comfortable with the rhythms, you want to add a little bit of style to this tune, you're welcome to do that by adding in some slides and double stops. Those would be the main two things that I would recommend if you're looking for ways to add a little bit of interest to this tune. So there are a couple of different places that you can throw in some slides, one being just in the very beginning when we start on an A, sliding into that A. And there's another one you could slide into that C sharp if you wanted to. And then also double stops are a great way to enhance this tune by adding double stops in selective places. So if you wanted to, in addition to the slides, add in an open E to that C sharp that we slid into, you're welcome to do that. And that would sound like this. <laughs> All right, and also within the B section as well, there are places where you can add in some of those selective double stops, depending on what sounds right to your ear. But that's just an example. You don't have to do it that way, but that is just an option for this tune. Thanks again for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below on your way out if you haven't done so already. And also we have a jam workshop coming up this weekend on Sunday. So if you haven't yet signed up for that, then you can do so using the link in the description box below. We would love to have you. It's always a good time. And until next time, happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.